Hello, Brave Master. Welcome. Uh, we're going to have a conversation about securing the gig first. Why do I say that? Uh, I'm going to explain. And, uh, and, and more importantly, what's the power of it uh, for your growth and your visibility? And for those of you new to me, I am Jenna Rodriguez. I'm a business and brave strategist and founder of Brave Masters. I'm committed to helping entrepreneurs worldwide speak up and scale their passion-focused businesses as well as overcome their fears and unpack their natural gifts so they can live out your, uh, live out your greatest potential and monetize those gifts as well. So um, I talk a lot about getting highly visible and one of the best strategies to do that is speaking, right? And, uh, and speaking for free, speaking um, um, you know, in public, on stages, et cetera. And, and so one of the tips that I give my clients uh, and my, my program participants is to get the gig first. It's actually one of the very first modules of my course, The Brave Speaker. And there's a very clear reason why I do that. Um, it is not the last thing you do. It is not go get all these things done and handled and figured out before you get the gig. And there's, there's a couple things I want to share with you today of why um, it's really important and highly recommended to get the gig first. And so number one is it generates a deadline. So when you get the gig first, right, you put all your focus on um, getting and, and putting those things on the calendar, procuring the, the speaking gigs um, and, uh, and securing them, locking them down on the date etc then what it does is it has a, a built-in deadline now right and most times when you're procuring gigs those things are not going to happen in the next week or days or what have you so there's not not really an issue with you know not being prepared at all right because they're just not going to happen that fast um, and so it's imperative that you actually start to put them on the calendar because they are usually a, a month, two months, five months, six months, you know, or longer. Um, maybe they're a conference in a year from now, right? And so you want to put them on the calendar so the deadline is in front of you and you have the goal, you have that finish line. And another analogy I like to use is sports teams. So for instance, um, you know, my daughter, uh, she's in school and she's in sports and she, um, uh, plays volleyball, for instance, uh, and they, they, the first night, she's not ready. She's not practiced and, you know, prepared and doesn't even have her uniform yet, but they hand us the schedule, right? Those games are on the calendar. She, they're going to play whether you're ready or not, because they're already there, right? And so that's the same idea, is we know the games are on the calendar. We don't, you know, but now it's time to go prepare and it's time to go practice. It's time to get your game face on. And, uh, and so that's the best way to think about it um, when you are really starting to do things that are future planning, right? So getting the gigs on your calendar is, is one of those ways. Uh, the second thing um, and the, kind of the second point I want to make to, to anchor this is preparation is actually not about being 100% prepared. Um, and it, it can actually create procrastination if you're trying to get prepared and ready and, you know, to even get the gig in the first place. Uh, I was actually working with a client just this week in my uh, Brave Speaker Accelerator course, and we just stopped and went and found a, a you know, a, a venue, a, a speaking organization, an organization that um, has speakers um, and in her area. And we just went ahead and figured out who to contact, what to say, and what to ask, and wrote the email right? Like get it done because the procrastination of like, I haven't sent the email. I haven't made the request. I haven't, you know, asked for if they even have speakers, you know, or need speakers. Right. Um, so the delay in doing that, that procrastination is, you know, is a detriment to the movement of, of the things really starting to happen for you in visibility and in getting clients, creating monetization, et cetera. And so preparation can lead to procrastination. Um, so I caution you about trying to be 100% prepared and feel ready and all those things before you put the game on the calendar, right? Play the game, put the game on the calendar, set the date, right? Get the gig. Uh, and so that's the, my point number two. And finally, point number three is yes energy. And what does that mean? So when I say um, have yes energy, and, uh, and, and obviously, you know, put that into practice is say yes, then figure it out. Say yes and commit, then go do the work or do the preparation. Say yes to the volleyball 
season, right? My daughter says yes to the volleyball season every year. Um, but she's not ready, right? They need to practice. They need to, you know, learn the skills. They need to, you know, get their game in the uniforms ordered. All those things that, you know, have to happen to be prepared and to be fully ready for the game. And, uh, and so when you say yes to yourself, it moves things in your favor. It aligns things up for you, right? And this goes back to something I talk about a lot about making decisions. Um, you know, the decision is actually easy. Saying yes to speaking is easy. It's just a decision. Say yes, right? I say yes to, to being a speaker. Um, and then it's all the other stuff that we pile on to that decision that actually keeps us you know, from making, taking the actions. And so once you make the decision, then you have to commit and then you take the action. So that's kind of what happens um, inside of this conversation around getting the gig first. So if you get the gig first, it's immediately a deadline. You know it's coming. Um, it's secured. They're ready for you. They're excited you're coming. And, uh, and then now the procrastination, unless you want to wait till the night before, <laughs> highly don't recommend playing the game, um, you know, without practice, right, all the way up to the game. Um, and, and I'm using the game analogy, right, uh, to illustrate that, uh, is, is to say yes to uh, what you're up to, right? Like what your vision is and make those decisions. And then every single day we have to commit through the tiny decisions um, that align with that initial one. And, uh, and so um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you want to dive more into the details, I've mentioned the program that I help clients with. Um, please, first and foremost, um, get, get some more information if you'd like to. Um, and one way to do that is to, to check out my no-cost training about it. Uh, and you can go to bravemasters.com slash free webinar. Uh, or if you're really ready to have a conversation about how can I do this for myself? How can, how can Jenna, how can I <laughs> help you um, accelerate this, um, get the gigs, know what the templates are, know what to ask, and then also figure out what do I talk about? How do I work out my content? How do I work out my stories? And then how do I monetize all of that? Then I would highly suggest that you and I get on a call together and, uh, and see if it's a good fit for you. And the way to do that is go to apply.bravespeakeraccelerator.com. And so uh, join me on one of those uh, links and I'll see you on the other side. And until then, let's go get our brave on. Thanks everyone.